Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is January 30th, 2024. Before we jump into things here, as per usual, I want to let you guys know about the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code down below as well as a TCG player affiliate link and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Jetmere's Garden, this is the showcase copy from Streets of New Capenna, down 11.41% from $22.87 to $20.26 for its market price, and its average price is $22.49. Urza Saga from Modern Horizons 2, this land is down 11.41% from $41.79 to $37.02 for its market price, and its average price is $41.46. Exploration from Dominaria Remastered, this rare is down 11.50% from $17.21 to $15.23 for its market price, and its average price is $16.06. Fury from Modern Horizons 2, this mythic is down 11.53% from $9.28 to $8.21 for its market price, and its average price is $10. Virtue of Loyalty from Wilds Drain, this mythic is down 11.70% from $18.71 to $16.52 for its market price, and its average price is $18.50. Thassa's Oracle from Theros Beyond Death, this rare is down 11.78% from $17.91 to $15.80 for its market price, and its average price is $16.56. Tireless Tracker, and this is the special guest version of the card, down 11.86% from $20 to $17.62 for its market price, and its average price is $13.85. Bone Horde Dracosaur, and this is the borderless copy from Lost Caverns Vixalon. It's down 11.92% from $13.68 to $12.05 for its market price, and its average price is $13.20. Hallowed Haunting from Innistrad Crimson Vow, this mythic is down 11.92% from $15.85 to $13.96 for its market price, and its average price is $15. Hivevine from Magic 2010. This card is down 12.23% from $8.75 to $7.68 for its market price, and its average price is $7.30. Bloodthirsty Adversary from Innistrad Midnight Hunt. This mythic is down 12.27% from $19.80 to $17.37 for its market price, and its average price is $18.45. Rose Noble from the Secret Layer series down 12.34% from $18 to $15.77 for its market price, and its average price is $13.98. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Subtlety from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up 6.83% from $19.03 to $20.33 for its market price, and its average price is $21. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $35.55 for its average price. And the borderless copy is sitting at $28.34 for its market price. And its average price is $29. And this card is being played mostly in the modern format in decks like Crashing Footfalls, Merc Died Regent, Living End, as well as Merfolk decks, and even 4-5 to five color Omnath. And the next winner here is Deathcap Glade from Innistrad Crimson Vow. This land is up 7.10% from $19.45 to $20.83 for its market price, and its average price is $20.48. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $23 for its average price. The promo pack copy is sitting at $9.35 for its market price, and its average price is $29.80. And the borderless copy is sitting at $16.63 for its market price, and its average price is $18.90. And the double feature copy is sitting at $15.16 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And this card is being played mostly in the standard format in decks like Golgari Midrange, 4-color Legends, and also 4-color Cauldron Combo decks. However, it also sees some commander play in decks like Lateral Blade of the Elves and the Micro Tyrant. And the next winner here is Opposition Agent, and this is the extended art copy from Commander Legends. It's up 7.51% from $29.31 to $31.51 for its market price, and its average price is $29.94. 
and the regular copy from Commander Legends is sitting at $22.86 for its market price and its average price is $24.34. And this card is actually seeing a ton of legacy play in Maverick, Beanstalk Control, and Mono Black Scam decks. However, also see some commander play in decks like Atraxa Grand Unifier and Kirk Son of Yawgmoth. Next up here is Captivating Vampire from Magic 2011. This rare is up 8.18% from $14.92 to $16.14 for its market price, and its average price is $17.18. And the version on the list is sitting at $21.86 for its market price, and its average price is $22.18. And the Commander 2017 copy is sitting at $17.62 for its market price, and its average price is $18.36. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format in decks like Olivia Voldaren and and also Edgar Markov. Next up on our winners list is Akroma's Will from Commander Legends. This rare is at 8.75% from $18.18 to $19.77 for its market price, and its average price is $18.10. And the extended art copy is sitting at $22.76 for its market price, and its average price is $23.44. And the Lost Cabin's Wix Lawn copy is sitting at $15.26 for its market price, and its average price is $17.42. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format in decks like Ren and Seri and Separate. Paint Liza's Sun Favored, and also just Sass Sun's Avatar. Next up here is Archangel of Tithes from Magic Origins. This mythic is up 10.05% from $11.05 to $12.16 for its market price, and its average price is $13.39. This card sees most of its play in the commander format as well in decks like Giada Font of Hope and Kalia of the Vast. And our final winner on our list today is Oko, Thief of Crowns from Throne of Eldraine. This Planeswalker is up 15.43% from $16.98 to $19.60 for its market price, and its average price is $18.35. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $34.37 for its market price, and its average price is $34.42. And the promo pack copy is sitting at $17.88 for its market price, and its average price is $19.67. And the borderless copy is sitting at $21.54 for its market price, and its average price is $22.55. And this card sees most of its play in the vintage format, in decks like Blue Control, Salt Eye Midrange, and Oath of Druid decks. However, also see some commander play in decks like Attracts a Praetor's Voice, Attracts a Grand Unifier, and Laura Croft Tomb Raider decks. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Trophy Mage from Aether Revolt. This foil is up 11.07% from $10.12 to $11.24 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.38. Ophidian Eye from Time Spiral. This foil is up 11.84% from $24.33 to $27.21 for its foil market price, and its average price is $24.06. Sungrass Prairie from Odyssey. This old frame foil is up 13% today from $25.93 to $29.30 for its foil market price, and its average price is $36. Accumulated Knowledge from Nemesis. This old frame foil is up 14.06% from $16.50 to $18.82 for its foil market price, and its average price is $17.59. Derevi Imperial Tactician, and this is the foil edge copy from Commander Legends. It's up 15.90% from $6.48 to $7.51 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.70. March of Swirling Mist, and this is the showcase foil from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card is up 17.86% from $5.60 to $6.60 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.54. The 13th Doctor in this is the Showcase Surge Foil from Universes Beyond, Doctor Who, up 18.27% from $12.86 to $15.21 for its foil market price, and its average price is $16.87. Thought Courier from 9th Edition, this foil is up 20% today from $10 to $12 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.97. Everything Comes to Dust from Universes Beyond, Doctor Who. This foil is up 21.18% from $7.65 to $9.27 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.55. Homing Sliver from Future Sight. This foil is up 23.77% from $16.24 to $20.10 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.84. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering. 
market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow into YouTube's algorithm. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.